Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Steve. This is my wife, Lindsay, and today we're going to be reacting to the prettiest village in the Cotswolds. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. I'm finally getting over that laryngitis. I still got a little bit left. How are you feeling? I feel good. So you're about what, 90%? No, I'm like, really? from that, I'm like 100%. Really? You sound like you still got a little something. Oh, well, I think I just have a headache. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think I'm about 90-ish, 95%. So a little bit here. But anyways, guys, we are going to be checking out a village called Stanton. Um, never heard of it before. We actually reacted to a video about the Cotswolds probably about two months ago or so. Was it that long ago? I think it's been a while. It's been uh -huh. a while. But it was we beautiful. Loved it. Yeah. We'd always heard that it was beautiful, but never but could like, have imagined. I feel like that video didn't show very much. Like, it, it was a small sample. Yeah, of... it was a very small sample, and it didn't really show a particular village mm -hmm. itself within the Cotswolds. It was over a few like different small places. parts of each place. Yeah, yeah. and so we, we saw this, and we're like, okay, yes. We love the Cotswolds. It's idyllic mm -hmm. and just beautiful. Yeah. Um, but... I guess before we get started, guys, we're just going to go quickly and look and see, uh, look at Wikipedia or whatnot and see just a little bit about Stanton, see if we learn anything about it before we check this place out. All right, guys. So Stanton is a village in Civil Parish in to to Tewksbury? Tewksbury Borough, Borough, Gloucestershire, Gloucestershire, England. Whew, that's a mouthful. <laughs> that's a mouthful. Wow. Yeah. The village is a spring line settlement at the foot of the Cotswold escarpment. escarpment about two and a half miles southwest of Broadway. Almost completely of Cotswold stone. Oh, I okay. love so that. that. That's why the name is Cotswolds, because a lot of the houses are made from Cotswold stone. That must be Maybe. it. We didn't learn that last time, so mm -hmm. let us know if that oh, is correct. Stone. Interesting. What? Because where we live oh, here yeah. in Indiana is like the limestone capital of the world. Yeah, so. it is. Hmm. We have we a lot to... of limestone. A lot of the houses, they're... they're uh, we need to get a house built made in this to... style. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so cool? Dude, yeah. I would love it. I love, anyway. The cottage look is awesome. Yeah, the cottage look is amazing. But guys, I guess we'll just go ahead and jump into the video. So let's go ahead and check out okay. Stanton, the prettiest, supposedly the prettiest Ooh, village. I was going to say, it says right there. Where? Daily Telegraph describes Stanton in 2017 as arguably the most beautiful Cotswold village of them all. All right. Well, you know, sometimes someone will title a video that because they think right, it, but right, but it's literally like in a couple different. This looks to be different. actually an accurate fact that Stanton is going to be the possibly the prettiest village in the Cotswold. So let's go and check this out. I already. I love it. Say, are you <laughs> that, there's just something about circa 1500. Wow. There's something about what I'm seeing here. Just listen to the birds. It must be this time of year. You're right before it starts right, to get spring. Yeah. Look at the Easter lilies. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, I want to live here. I love the detail. Look at even down to this little gate here. This place is beautiful already, man. I love it. Like, we don't see stone walls like this here. No, and I really like them. Um, I love I the love design of the houses. architecture style. Yes, me too. Oh, and the thatch tree. I was about to say, yeah. I love this type of architecture here. I don't know what you call this. That, I think is it's it a Tudor? Tudor, yeah. that's, what I, that's what I was thinking. I like the Tudor style. I prefer the cottage. No, I do too. I, I like... I like so much of this is so cute. these types of styles. Ah, oh, it seems so peaceful. It does. Listen to that. It almost sounds like there's no cars around. It sounds like a place where you just drive golf carts or something. Ah. <laughs> uh. It reminds me of the village Belle lived in in Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Even though that was in France, but... I don't remember that movie. Uh, it's a rose... Oh, look at the, look at the vines, man. Mm, it's so pretty. This is the type of... This, honestly, is kind of quintessentially England. This is like 
kind of a kind lot of, what of you think of, or at it, least what I think of. It is like when I think of old world England, this is kind of the vibe I, I picture in my head. Before I started this It just seems journey. kind of jarring, though, because you see all the modern new cars mm -hmm. and then the quaint village. <laughs> it's almost like horse and buggies should be. Is that a chapel there? I think it is. Mm. So pretty. Dude, this is beautiful. Yeah, we should build a house like this. I thought you say we should build a house here. I was well, like, good luck, man. I was going to say, I'm sure it's really expensive. It's got to be very expensive. Oh, my gosh. What is this? Unsuitable for coaches. It looks like it was a door. Pray for the With men of Stanton who gave their lives in the Great War. Oh, First World War. In memory, the village has dedicated the new cross. The village has dedicated mm -hmm. the new cross. That's a beautiful tribute. I wonder if behind here is like a cemetery. I get that feeling it maybe. It seems like there's, yeah. Or that's church. where the, like back in there, like I thought I saw a chapel over there. Mm hmm There was a steeple. Dude, this is incredible. Yeah. Wow. I must say, like just the architecture, the stone walls, even down to the sound and the vines and the plants and Everything about this is this has got to be one of the most beautiful villages I've seen. Yeah. It really, really is. Wow. 1618. Is that the address or is that the year it was built? I thought it's the year it was built. I'm thinking that. But where do you the see the greenery. addresses? What? The greater you. I wanted to see through there. I was hoping to see where that went. If that was just maybe a, to the back garden or whatever. <laughs> I wish I had cobblestone streets. This place? Yeah. <laughs> it's not very practical. Although I will say, not having cobblestone streets really helps make the other yeah, stone pop. Yeah, stand out. Yeah. Dude, look back here. What is this right here? Oh, is that somebody's driveway or is that to like a church? I, I, I don't know. I don't know where the chapel. Wait, there it is. That's got to be the chapel. Oh, the gate's closing there like he's coming. Ah, uh, there is a cemetery back behind oh, that area. Oh, this looks so old. Dude, that is beautiful. I am a sucker for oddly shaped doors. I know you are. Like really unique doors. I'm and a, windows and like I'm a sucker for old churches mm -hmm. and old cemeteries. Yeah. Old. You know how much I love old cemeteries. Mm -hmm. I love the wear and the the you see how it's just worn? Mm -hmm. weathered. All this weathered look. I love that, man. Same with the um the tombstones. This is incredible. I tell you what, Cotswolds is definitely on the list. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, I don't know how much we would just go walk through somebody's neighborhood. Maybe a little bit, just to, you know. <laughs> but I've heard there's a lot to do. We actually found out when we did a video about the Cosmos mm -hmm. that there was quite a bit to do there. Yeah, it's really big. Yeah. I thought, when I always heard Cotswolds, I thought it was like one town. One little village, yeah. right? Yeah. But there's a number of different villages in the Cotswolds, and it seems like all of them are beautiful in different ways. This one is is amazing. Look at the weather vane. Mm -hmm. You do not see those. I, I do not ever here, like. Here, not, not much, unless it's like on a farm. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Trash can. I wonder if the people here let us know in the comments, guys, you know, do people here have to pay some sort of HOA fees, like homeowner association fees? Probably. I personally would not go and live anywhere with a homeowner association. I think it works well for retirees, oh, though. Look at that. Cotswold Way. The Mount and Guildhouse. Oh, Cotswold Way, that's the hiking trail. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So it goes right through here. Look at that beautiful hill, man. Mm-hmm. This is not just a beautiful village, but it's in a beautiful surrounding. It's a beautiful area. Love the rolling hills. Yeah. Is that water? Yep. Oh. Every
everything about this village is yeah i know everything about this village is so peaceful man it really is and you well, haven't seen anyone even their like storm drains or they're like <laughs> on the side of the road are peaceful <laughs> Oh, look at the little gate under the arbor. It's so cute. Where? I didn't see that. Over here. I don't know if he'll show it again. But... Thatched roofs are very expensive to maintain now because oh, there's yeah. only like a select few yeah. people who oh, yeah. know how to do it. Yeah. There's no doubt. It's definitely not a very popular modern building right. style, you know. See right there. Oh yeah, that that's that is really pretty. I wonder how big the backyards or the or the back gardens are for and these I, houses. See, that's the thing. Like these houses are very close together, mm -hmm. so I would want privacy in my backyard. And I think that's why a lot of them have very high bushes and stuff. Mm -hmm, the hedges. They have a lot of walls and stuff like that. Give them some privacy. I would love to live somewhere like this. This is beautiful, man. It's just so peaceful, man. I wonder. I wonder look at that phone booth, man. Oh, oh it's a library now. I Wait, heard that. that Where's that, that go? Oh, look at that little scene. Look at that little one. Oh, yeah, this is. It's so storybook. Yeah, this is everything I would want in a home. <laughs> <laughs> or a neighborhood. Or a neighborhood, yeah. Oh my goodness. It looks warm and cozy. I can just imagine that inside of these houses are like very old That's what woodwork. I want to see. I want to see the inside of some of these. Mm -hmm. The little the character. What did I say? The little Waffen? Warren? The Warren. That's narrow. I sort of say. Oh. <laughs> it's just so many places that mm -hmm. just you know, little alley right. drives. It even looks like some of these are heading out to farms or something. <laughs> I don't know for sure, but that's what it looks like. Oh, I love that. It's like a nice garden right there. Mm hmm. I'm trying to see where the addresses are on these houses. Why? Huh? Why? I'm just curious what they look like. How are they numbered? Mm. Also, Karen. do they... So let's say letterbox? Yeah, letterbox. Where their mail is? You know, some of these... Well, we're almost done here, but some of these... I've heard some houses are actually like... The house, it's the, uh, there's a name for a house and that is mm -hmm. the address. Mm -hmm. Instead of it being like, like number, instead of being be... like 1000 John Drive or mm -hmm. whatever. And then the city, it's like just the name. Like a manor or yeah. like, oh, okay. Incredible. Were, were, were you about to say something? Yeah, I was just going to say one thing I've noticed on the packages that we receive is the address the way the addresses are written much seems different. so much harder to grasp. To yeah. Me. And that's probably because we didn't grow up learning it that way, but right. it just seems more complicated. Yeah. I, I still don't quite understand like and, all the addresses because yeah. they, they look they vastly look different. different. Yeah. yeah, so like they, yeah. The addresses, depending on where they're coming from, seem vastly different here in the States. It's generally the same format. You have a, you have a road and your house is a number on the road. It could be drive, it could be street, it could be road, mm -hmm. it could be avenue. Uh, probably about it. And then, or like an apartment. Or an apartment, yeah. and then it's just the city and zip code. But there it's like letters and numbers and mm -hmm. um, so. And like three different place names. Yeah, that 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 gives me, uh, that gives me an look, idea. Of, yeah, we should look at it. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Guys, if you have any suggestions for any videos or, or mm -hmm. places we can look to kind of learn about the way addresses are done in the UK and Ireland, like in general, yeah. to, to, to explain to us what we're looking at when we see these different addresses coming in yeah, and how, and how it, they come up with the, the letters and numbers and whatnot. Please let us know in the comments. This is something we'd be interested in learning about and it'll come in very handy going forward. Yeah. 
Um, so uh, yeah, that'd be really cool. But guys, this place is incredible. We knew it probably would be because we saw the last Cotswold yeah. video, but um, this, this, like I said, this is just quintessentially, before I started this journey, this is kind of a lot of what I, I pictured in my head with mm -hmm. old world England. I pictured these kind of stone cottages with either the thatched roofs or with this, the old worn roofs like mm -hmm. this. And then I picture a lot of like stone walls and just beautiful greenery and just, <laughs> this really is a lot of what I pictured. Now, obviously this is not everywhere, right. but for some reason, this is one of those pictures I have in my mind. And I'm guessing because, really movie. yeah, this is like, <laughs> it's really storybook. And so this is the type of thing you're going to, you're going to see described in a lot of fairy tales and you're going to see this in a lot of movies and stuff mm -hmm. like that probably. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, beautiful. Love learning about places like this and just seeing what they look like. Yeah. Totally different from anything I can think of ever seeing here. I mean, yeah, I mean, you might have like a handful of houses in the style, but it's maybe it's few and far between. It's not the right. norm. You do not see villages like this. Right. You don't see villages like this. And I, I don't know when I see old world walls like this. Mm -hmm. Like, really, you don't see these. And yet, here in. In the UK, you see these, not just around villages like this, but you'll see them out in the countryside, like where we have like, like, like wire fence. They, a lot of times you'll see them actually having I mean, walls. to me, it makes more sense because it's stuff you could just gather. It does. And, and I bet you actually make it yourself. Who knows how old these walls are in some areas, probably long before it probably was much easier to build something like this than come across wire, right. you know, if you go back far enough. So um, it would make a lot of sense. But guys, incredible. Uh, would love to visit, visit the college walls someday. If you have any other recommendations for things similar to this, please feel free to do, leave them in the comments. But you got anything you want to add before we go? Nope. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by, guys. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow us on our journey to learn about anything and everything to do with the UK and Ireland. Until next time, guys. Peace. Bye.